director, and I'm, I'm really happy to see everybody here. We really had a great week with the girls uh, learning coding and app development, and they're going to share all that with you. I would like to first welcome Congresswoman Letcher Fernandez. Did I say it right? You came close enough. Close enough. <laughs> um, uh, she is sponsoring the Congressional App Challenge, which is a national challenge. The girls submitted their apps to that challenge, representing the uh, the Northern New Mexico uh, Congressional District that you represent. And she's got a few words for you. Um, go for it. <laughs> so hi. So you know, I'm your Congresswoman. And what a congresswoman does is basically, yes, I'm your representative, and my job is to represent you um, and, and to take issues to Congress that are about northern New Mexico, but that are also about our entire nation and our entire world. And in some ways, the reason I point that out is that sometimes we think something is very unique or particular to us, Right? And we go, oh, well, this is an issue in New Mexico, or in Santa Fe, or in Powake, or in Okeowinge, when in reality it's an issue that affects everybody across the world. And in many ways, the issue of needing to make sure that we are able to compete and to have fun <laughs> at the same time with regards to coding and to science and it's really like an issue that's important for New Mexico because that's how we are going to change, you know, things in New Mexico, how we get to, you know, increase our jobs and our businesses. But it's also how we get to like solve huge problems, right? Huge problems, whether they're in medicine or in science or in computers or in apps, right? Think of all the apps that they have created that really make a difference from Figuring out how to, you know, in this pandemic, there were some amazing apps that were created to help us deal with the challenges of the pandemic. Uh, getting your, you know, in some ways, like I, I traveled a lot. I traveled a lot before there was a vaccine, and I tell you that was scary because I would have to get on planes and go back and forth to D.C. and I would take tests. I was like taking tests like four times a week. Bob does know. And they would, I, an app would come up and tell me that I was negative and that meant I could hug my children, right? And that app was so important to me because that meant I didn't need to wait a long time before I knew I could hug my children because hugging your children is such a difficult thing to do. So what you are all doing in terms of learning how to create an app and then competing for on the Congressional App Challenge is like really foundational for the way in which our country and our New Mexico and your friends are going to work on things in the future. And I need to tell you that I go around and ask people what we need, and I am constantly told that we have a lot of jobs for coders, but we don't have people who have the coding ability. If you all needed a job, you could probably get one because you now know how to code, right? Now, we don't want you to get a job because you need to finish your schooling, uh, but that's the kind of thing that you're going to actually know about in which how I know is how to open my phone and hit that app, right? You all are going to know what is behind that app, like how it works. You know, the same way people love eating a cake, but not everybody knows how to make the cake. You guys actually are going to know how that darn cake is made, and that's why it's so wonderful. The other thing that's important is I want us to win. <laughs> I want New Mexico to win. So I am so glad that you're each participating in the app challenge, and I can't wait to hear what your apps are, and I'm not going to take too much time talking because I want to listen to you, uh, But and then we'll see if we have enough time. If there are any questions, maybe I see we have a teeny bit of time, but are there any questions for me before I sit down and you tell us uh, about your apps? No, let's get to the descriptions then. What I want to really thank the parents for driving your kids from Okeoringe, from Povaca, from, you know, downtown, <laughs> <laughs> out here. Um, my kid uh, went to the master's program here, uh, the, the, the uh, charter school here. It was a great program. Uh, I had to drive them all the way from downtown. <laughs> I lived in Chupadero at the time, so it actually was about a half an hour. But it's a wonderful place here. I'm so glad that you've all discovered it at a very young age. 
so you can keep using it because there's so many resources here. So I'm really grateful for all the work that you've done that keeps this idea alive and during the pandemic and for our long list of supporters, um, you know, who helped fund all of this, including Del Norte. Um, so thank you. To, we always have to thank all the people who make things happen because nothing happens without a lot of people coming together and making it so. And I will tell you though, making things happen actually makes you happy, right? Yeah. And so <laughs> you need to remember that. Making things happen is a way of making you happy. That creating good things in the world actually brings a lot of joy and happiness. And when you're kind of bummed out, it's like, well, what can I do to make something happen? Because that will give you a purpose and I'll give you joy. So I want to thank the people for creating joy in all of our lives. So. Thank you.